Have you ever come back from a shoot really excited only to find out that the best shot is a little bit out of focus? Well, stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Dan from On One here. I'm excited to give you a sneak peek at some new technology that we're working on. Now, from the lead-in, you notice we were talking about what happens when your photo is a little bit out of focus. Now, you can try to do a little bit of normal sharpening, but oftentimes that doesn't work. You end up having to throw away what can be the best photo. When you're working with people and portraits, sometimes the expression is the most important part. You might have the best expression, but the eyes might be a little bit out of focus. Well, as part of No Noise, we've added a new algorithm called TacSharp AI. It uses state-of-the-art deep blurring technology to find what made your photo blurry and correct it. Here's an example of a shot that I did on a vacation where the wind was blowing so hard that even though I had the camera on the tripod, it still got a little bit of camera shake to it. I'm going to zoom in one more step here so you guys can really see it. It's like, oh, this would be a great shot if it wasn't for that little bit of blur. Well, we can remove that again, like I mentioned, with the new TacSharp AI. It lives down here in the noise and sharpening pane. So you notice there's the classic noise and sharpening. There's no noise. There's TacSharp AI. And there's a combination that uses both no noise and tack sharp together because sometimes your photo is noisy and blurry at the same time. For this one, I'm just going to focus on tack sharp. Let me turn it on here. On the left hand side, we see the original out of focus photo. And on the right, you see the results after tack sharp AI. You can see how all the tiniest little details have come back. The individual branches in the trees are now sharp. We can see the little tractor tracks in the grass. All the fine details are back that were lost before. It was able to detect the camera blur, the motion blur. It was able to tell which direction it was going and be able to counteract it all at one time. Let me show you another example. Here's a wildlife shot of some quail. And if we zoom in a little closer, you can see this is a little soft. It can be very disappointing to get a photo like that, where it just doesn't have that crisp, tack sharp look that we all love. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add tack sharp to this. And again, there's before, and there's after applying tack sharp. All the little details in the feathers have come back, and the catch light in the eye is nice and crisp. It works great on portraits too. Here's a case where the camera actually back focused. It focused on the subject behind rather than on the subject in the foreground. It's very hard to get the depth of field to match both when we're shooting wide open like we were in this case. So her eyes are a little bit soft and her hand is a little out of focus. Well, watch what happens when we turn on tack sharp. So again, here's before, and there's after. You can see how the details and the eyebrows have come back, the catch lines are sharp, even the hands have come back in focus. Now in a photo like this, it's also brought back a little bit of noise. Now that's the great thing, is you can use no noise and tack sharp at the same time. So rather than just using tack sharp on its own, I'm gonna click on the both button. This lets me balance noise reduction and deblurring at the same time. You'll notice at the top, I have the controls for no noise, and at the bottom, I have the controls for tack sharp. And I can use both of them at the same time to come up with the best balance of the two. Let's take a look at the before and the after. So there's before, and there's after. The details come back and we manage to keep the noise down. Let me show you one more great example. Here's a raw photo shot at 4000 ISO. It's both noisy and it also lacks some focus. So again, We'll just go back to the noise and sharpening tab. We'll turn on both and you can see how it's reduced the noise in the background and brought out an incredible amount of detail in the Eagle. We're at 200% here. Let me go back to a normal 100% view. It's crazy how it's balanced both noise reduction and sharpening at the same time. We've even added a brand new control called micro sharpening. This helps you bring up the smallest detail and the tiniest little textures in a photo without creating any ringing artifacts or edge halos. So watch, I'll just grab this micro sharpening slider and I'll turn that up and you can see how it enhances the tiniest little details and brings out all those textures just like that. All right, there you go. That's the brand new TacSharp AI, which allows you to remove blur from your photos. Thanks for watching.